I'm here in China in a Shaolin Man Temple and for the next seven days I'm going through one of the hardest trainings in the entire world. First step, shaving my head. Oh no. So the Shaolin Man shave their head because they want to de-attach from the previous life. Goodbye previous life. So this is a Shaolin Man uniform. After I dressed up, the Shaolin headmaster called all the students to line up and he welcomed us to the team. He also explained that the next days will be mentally and physically exhausting. No pain, no gain, no kung fu. <laughs> we started the training with a standing meditation by the water. And after that, we had a Shaolin movement exercise. All of them, they know the moves because they've been here for months, but I don't know them. It was a bit embarrassing that I was the only one that didn't know the moves. And I think I was the weakest person there. But I am determined to slowly improve and catch up to my teammates. On our way to eat food, I had a chance to become friends with a special young guy that his family kicked him out out of the house and he is living on the temple now. It's time for breakfast. We're in the line to put food. They only have vegan food. <laughs> so there is rice and there is chopsticks. These things doesn't go together for me. After food, it was time for our Shifu, which means the head of our training to explain us some stuff. Kung Fu isn't meant to be used to hurt others. It's to help others. To join our big Kung Fu family, regardless of your age, everyone has to follow the same rules. And after this inspiring word from our master, we started the afternoon training. So they send us up to the temple for running. So many steps. The other people, they are a lot better than me. So the videographer has a very good exercise now. <laughs> He's very tired. After climbing up and down the stairs for a long time, it was time for balance training. And we train on the pole standing for one hour like a real Shaolin. We need to hold this position for 10 minutes. And it's not that easy. So many hardcore exercises in one day, I can't believe it. I respect the Shifu, so I do whatever they say. One. A lot harder than it seems, guys. He is making sure that I feel pain. No pain, no gain, no kung fu. This is better than I imagined. I want to come here to see if everything that they say about Shaolin is a myth. But you see them, they are warriors. You don't want to mess with them. So now we're doing power stretching. Two people are stretching my legs. So if he's speaking, that means I'm not going hard enough, so. <laughs> Our master were helping and pushing everyone to be better. Look, he's doing splits like that, 180 degrees. Good job. We are all bound able to do this, but then we sit on chairs and we don't move. So we restrict, because if you don't use it, you lose it. All these people, they are better than me in a lot of aspects. So it pushes me to be a better version of myself. I never felt my body so relaxed in my whole life. Every bone of my body now, it's in peace. So we finished for the day. So this is your room? This is wood. Yes. This is kind of hard. And you chose my favorite color, pink. Oh, you're welcome. Today was kind of an introduction. And my legs have a lot of pain. Oh my gosh. So it's 5.30 now and here have a training at 6. Come on. All my body is in pain. And they said today will be more difficult. I don't know how we'll make it. I'm excited. Next day started with a lineup with all the students and our Shifu put us to do cleaning of the temple. So we have temple duties now. So this is my name here and I need to clean the front. This is my weapon for the day. Not for the day, for the hour. Clean with my calls in the front. We believe that uh, sweeping the, the court, it's also sweeping your heart. After cleaning, there was a surprise waiting for us. It's going to be a ceremony tomorrow, but we need to perform with the dragon. It's kind of exciting. So we spent the whole day training with the dragon, and I'm not gonna lie, it was very exhausting. <laughs> It seems easy, guys. Handling this dragon, but it's not. I'm so tired, but uh, we have to go through the struggle. How long you've been here? Uh, three weeks. And how long you're going to stay here? Two more months. That's a lot of commitment, three man. Months. Why you felt you needed to come here? My life's been too easy. Too much partying, too much school, uh, university. It's something hard in my life. So what I do to keep myself kind of positive is I break the days in parts. I'm not thinking that I have so many days still to go. I just think, oh, in two hours, we're going to eat food. Waking up in the morning. <laughs> so today they said that it will be a difficult day because we have 
performance and then after have a hardcore training. This is not what I had in mind when I came to train with Charlie, but this is cool. Look like Aladdin. <laughs> From one to ten, how funny I look. Ten. I think I look beautiful. So now the ceremony is about to begin. Today they celebrate the birth of Buddha. They believe by putting water on him, the wrong things you did in the past year live and your soul becomes clean. <laughs> So it's time for the performance in front of all these people. Ah! Our master is performing there now. Wow! So he's going to hit the iron in his head. After he hit the iron in his head, I went to congratulate him. You are Hello. the best. <laughs> Very strong. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part about the whole Shaolin thing is the food. Oh. On day five, it was time for some real fighting with our chef. So this is the first time in my life that I'm having Kung Fu. Ah! I'm dead. <laughs> He's very, very good. <laughs> I was fighting him, I could understand that he could sense all my moves. He's amazing. So it's been two hours straight that he's fighting every student here and he's not tired. After we finished, he gave us some advice. I am looking at what your strengths and weaknesses are. The purpose of this training is not to kill your enemy. It is to improve your technique. I had the opportunity to sit down with him and record a podcast. You can find the link in the description. I really like his style. He's funny, he's humble. On the break after food, I spent some time with my little friend. I'm hanging out with my best friend. Yes! Oi! I'm 23 years old and I'm training with a 13 year old and we have also a 53 year old in our class. I love the diversity of the age. The next day I wake up with a big problem. Yesterday when I was fighting with Shifu, I hurt my leg and now it's difficult for me to walk. That doesn't mean anything. I continue the training exactly like everyone else. And then we started the most intense training ever. <laughs> We're punching the wood here. One, two, three. Oh my god, my hands are extremely red. While the others are training there, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Speakly. Speakly is an application on your phone that you can learn a new language. English is not my first language and when I started YouTube, everyone was saying bad things about the way that I was speaking. But this application, Speakly, helps you learn faster. <laughs> He's punching the wood too hard. So you're going to continue? Of course. <laughs> Shaking. Shaolin training is not a joke. I'm using Speakly to learn French. And if you are using this every day for six months, it's inevitable that you are going to have a basic understanding of the language. So you learn a language by practicing and when you are immersed in the experience. And Speakly makes this immersion fun. Every day they are putting tasks for you to do. And depending on how fast you want to learn the language, they give you the equivalent of exercises. Another thing I wanted to say is that the trainer is so strong. I started punching his hands before and it was like hitting a wall. Speakly is a long time partner of this channel and we love them. So go now to the top link on the description and download Speakly and one of you guys that will do that, I will give them an iPhone. This is the training that they do and they break irons in their head. Basically today the training is about training every part of our body and our mind to withstand pain. The whole body is getting beat up. So funny to watch. Oh. I don't feel any part of my body. Maybe it's no good. <laughs> I love this guy. You became best friends with him? My best friend. Ling Ling. <laughs> Today was full training day. I'm so exhausted. But because I started becoming friends with these guys, the bond of the group kind of helped you get through the difficult times. How do you find my progress? You're slowly starting to uh, get the movements in the forms and slowly starting to also pay attention to others doing uh, things wrong. So 
that pattern. Do you have any advice for me? If you learn something, don't have in your mind that you think you already know it. Just keep on with mind because there's always something to improve. The next day it was mostly lessons in the class. So now it's class time. We're going to learn about Chinese medicine. Immediately when the lesson started, the teacher started beating us. <laughs> and while she was beating us, something interesting came up. The boxes, look how much blockage you have here. What blockage? Bad blood? Yes, pretty much. It's a way to treat their cold or their illnesses. After the traditional Chinese medicine, we had a class with Shifu. What did you think about the training? Strong. How much did you sweat? Not enough. Did you cry? Yes. Why did you cry? Pain. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you were all really tired. I want to train your mind so it can adapt to the unexpected things life will bring you. Shifu guys, the master here, he prepared a present for you. He wants you to train as well and adapt these teachings because he wants to pass all these teachings to you guys as well. Go down the link in the description and put your email and Shifu's team, they're going to send you an email with all the teachings for you to learn the Kung Fu basics as well. And I think they're going to improve your life as well, like they did mine. Every week there is a free day, so we thought of exploring the temple. In my back, you are going to find actually something that was never shown in any video. Never. So this is a very special place in this temple. I grew up watching my favorite anime, Avatar. It's like being in the movie now. So it's a childhood dream to be here. So look at how many statues they have here. It's all the stuff from Avatar. All the previous days I wanted to climb this building, but I was very tired. So now is the time. And they told me is the best view on planet earth so we finally arrived to the top so i want to show you how beautiful this is inside the eyes of the drone look at these guys oh my god i love it here guys i'm learning a new culture about china also i'm learning martial arts i'm learning discipline so much learning we're here all together with one goal to push ourselves and experience new dimensions of mental capabilities. This is the last night and I just want to sleep. Last day of the training and the most difficult one. So it's 6 a.m. Day 7. Do morning meditation with our body and the view is amazing. After that, we did some kicks, practicing, and then power stretching again. Now is the peak of the exercises. Hopefully, I can bear you. So we're going to do two hours running up and down the mountain. So we're running up the mountain, and we have these beautiful views. It's not very easy, but this is the last part of the training. It was very hard to run for two hours on a steep mountain. After two hours of climbing the mountain, I made it as well. And this was the peak of all the exercises. We made it oh, all in the microphone. top of the mountain. Who's missing? Uh, raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> After we went down the mountain, because me and another person was leaving, they did a farewell program. We even got our certificate for completing the training. And while we were taking some pictures, something unexpected happened. My little friend started crying because I was leaving. And after that, we had to finish the training with the ultimate party. We are celebrating that we are leaving. I'm not sure if this is good that they are celebrating that we are leaving. We want you to yeah, leave. <laughs> Lots of food and performance by everyone. This is the end of the Shaolin training. Thanks for watching. Now I will leave you with one quote from the Shaolin. It's only when a person gets into difficulty that one can truly see his heart.